It's a little overcast today. It might rain. That's what the forecast said. But buongiorno or bon dia in Portuguese. Portuguese. I am getting in the car and going for a ride with beautiful Julia. I'm excited for this. You can't make this shit up. You got to see what I'm getting into. I remember I said that uh, he snuck out, ran out to the car took it and left. We didn't know where he was going. He did not respond to any messages. This is rather interesting, but um, yeah, this is Julia's car. At the grocery store, I am going to show you this juice thing. How cool is this? So you take the bottle, see, there's your bottle, fresh squeezed juice, everything looks good. You take the bottle and put it right underneath. It is that simple, people. Okay, I'm stick the nut, stick it under the nozzle. Push it, push it. It's that simple. Look at this. Look at that. And the large one is $2.89. I think this is a different store. Pulpy and well, they strain up the pulp. I prefer the pulp personally. Zoomix. Nice fresh squeezed orange juice to start your day. OMG, Dad, you'd love this. My dad's also a big juicer, so. Anyway. So Julia informed me that Dominic was in the bathroom, so he could avoid seeing me this morning. I'm like, what is wrong with people and non-confrontation? I really don't get it. Are you one of those people? Do you like to deal with confrontation? Like, actually, it's not even confrontation. Let's say conflict, because is it really conflict? The question is, can you, can you deal with a situation and come to a resolution or do you invite conflict without realizing you're the one causing it? So we're gonna drink this yummy nut. Morning juice, happy. Okay, she's running a little bit. Like, we gotta get gas.
all flat. <laughs> you weren't kidding. Except for the hills yeah, around. Well, here it's a little bit, but let's go another two miles that way.
Making Angel. Yep. And we, we, we got two people in here that are really good manifestors, so there's our special spot waiting for us up here, I'm sure. We're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way, whoops. We got a prime parking spot. We thought the guy was a parking attendant and he wanted a Euro, but it was actually a guy just waiting for his wife. That was funny. <laughs> Victoria, Madre de Dios. I can't speak. My tongue is still tough. Oh, I need a cappuccino. Do you like cappuccino or coffee? Yeah, Before we do that, I want these tiles. These tiles are gorgeous. We, we don't have to rush back, do you? Dom, you can wait, Dom, if you're listening to this. No, he would never watch my stuff. Or you waited, because this will be two days later anyway. I love, love, love. This is so pretty. Hey, I'm in good company. I'm with Julia. Julia's got my back. I love it. Thank you, Julia. And you have to go to her. Her YouTube is Simply Simplicity Revealed. Simplicity Revealed. And I said that last night on my other video. Oh, look at the floor. Let's see. It's so gorgeous. This is what I love tiles. I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I love her shoes. She's got clogs on. Those were my favorite as a kid. My mother got rid of my. Oh, look at there's tons of stuff over there too. We're get, we're gonna hang out. <laughs> we're gonna enjoy this day. He probably has to work, but he'll have to find his way. There's my feather, people. Even if it's next to a stuck cigarette. To a cigarette butt. Stuck to a cigarette butt, right? How crazy is that? <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. I wouldn't have, yeah. We don't want the cigarette butt, and it's got some, it's singed already. We'll let it go. Yeah, somebody else can have that boat. That was cute. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love it. Yeah, that's a cute little town. Yeah, it is. It's super pretty. It has a nice vibe. Mm -hmm. I like it here. I always have. Passage Cafe. Let's go check out and see if they have anything gluten-free. That's what I really want to see. If I can find some cookies or something light. Gift shops and stuff. Passage. Galleria Passage. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ooh, this is pretty. I like the music, too. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. See, you know what? This is safe passage. Loving the music. Good company. Dos cappuccino. Mm -hmm. Cappuccini. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Cafe. Isn't that fancy? We got, I think we got Chantilly. What do you think? <laughs> we didn't ask for the cream, but we got it anyway. I'm just, I, hey, I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to enjoy. You know me and my cappuccino. In España. Se With the cream. And the language in the background is like music to my ears. Cheers. Cheers. Day trip to Spain at Galleria Passage. Galleria Passage Cafe in España. Ah, uh, look at the tiles and even on the ground. It's just mm -hmm. art. It's all art. And even in the houses, their whole yard would be tiled. Mm. Like big yards, all time. Sometimes more. Oh, I could go happy in there. All the ribbons and. Uh. Oh yeah, we're talking about getting these yummy cookies. So it's really kind of oh, early, technically. Spain. Yeah, this is in they Spain. Don't they don't have Spain in. Spain doesn't have those cookies. No, those are oh, Portuguese man. cookies. Oh yeah, the Portuguese cookies that I had the other day with the. Cinnamon and the oak. Oh, look at that. Look at that window. Um, let me guess. That's their form of insulation. Mm -hmm. like it? Mm. Kind of looks like the foam stuff in the States. It's 
what it reminds me of. And the church. Oh. We have plenty of those around the world, don't we? Let's see what we got. I, did, I should have worn a different pair of shoes, but oh well. It's just so nice and clean. There's not too much walking in this town anyway. We're going to make the rounds over here just to kind of get some different perspective and appreciate all the, the sights and sounds. Oh, I forgot to upload that video while we were there. <laughs> we were so busy talking and just admiring just the really beautiful energy in the space here. It's really nice and I love that color. So pretty. And I look at that terrace. Now, wouldn't that be a nice little slice of paradise right there? Above a cafe bar, you can't beat that. Well, you could, but you know, in that moment, that's just perfect, serving its purpose. Just the smell of coffee coming from below. Oh, go this. Oh, that's better. That's appealing. That's inviting. That beautiful pink building. Hmm. Sports store. Uh. All sorts of goodies, and it's a quiet Monday morning, technically, in my book. We'll go straight. So, none of the shops really open for, or the restaurants really open till like one, which makes sense. I mean, Julia was explaining that the Spanish side is a little bit more old school, follows some of the old rules. That's pretty dread. Oh, it's good. I like the colors. Exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Most stuff is being made in China, and it's really just dis disheartening. Amazon's got the... Lots of Amazon. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we got a mime. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. I could go shopping here. Fancy schmancy. Oh, uh, here we go. We get, can you pick out the mime? <laughs> Clever. I was just admiring the building. Okay, we're going this way. <laughs> that was bizarre. It's like her hair felt us coming at her. You know, because your hair is an antenna, so when someone's hair is that far out, I don't know how many people are that aware of their uh, surroundings and situation, but it is odd. So this is what this is what I remember about Barcelona when I was there, as the beautiful build-outs of of like their terrace. Yeah, like a mini terrace that they built out so elegantly, so much art and attention to detail, and even look at this. Would you think to do that? Using the space, and especially with the elements during the different times of the year, when the time is uh, cooler or there's a lot of wind coming through, and you're on a you want to go out on your terrace, but you want the sunshine. So instead, now you've got glass around it, so you're protected by the elements, protected from the elements by the glass. <sighs> so, all right, let's see where. See, even up there, that building. See that? Yeah. We're going to try to find something to snack on because I'm a little hungry. Not majorly, but... When I go back, I've got a lot of clothes to sale. So online. We're talking about the different styles that we keep seeing and we're like, wow. It's like the 70s revisited. But that's what happens is, is style is recycled, right? We're in re Mercury retrograde period right now. This is beautiful. I love that. Mercury retrograde is all about recycle, redo, reinvent, re-examine your life. It's all, most of it's tapas so, over here, right? This is a Chinese restaurant. Oh no, I don't do Chinese. <laughs> We've already in, been infiltrated plenty. <laughs> Their food is just another poison in itself. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm just fascinated with the gorgeous buildings. And then this is another area of open outside. Looks like it's in the center of near the water. Just walk around here. 
I was just loving how much they've redone this building. It's so pretty. It's just so much pride in just maintaining their homes. And this is the thing that I, I do appreciate the old school. Like my grandmother was Portuguese. So she was all about a clean, well-kept home. She made all her curtains. She made my dad's clothes. He was a little embarrassed by that, but she was an amazing seamstress. And she was a nurse. You know, she was a very accomplished woman, and she would take out everything seasonally, change over, transition, you know, like, these are the summer linens and bathroom and everything. And then here's the winter, like, everything had a theme, and she was just such an amazing woman. She taught me a lot, like, and she's the one that taught me how to make the bed and clean the house. <laughs> Yeah, I loved my Grammy. She made the most amazing kale soup. Okay, if you know me, you know that my head sees something in a window or a door. Look at this building. Oh, this is really cool. It's a pool hall. Oh yeah, I bet you it's a communal place where the guys meet. Yeah, they're over here sitting. That's cool. That's cool. That's like the, the, the communal space for the guys, you know? You know, like mm -hmm. there are some bars where women and I laugh. Yeah, so. that's probably one of them because the guys are in there. It says mm -hmm. Hermana Amparo. Yeah, yep. means men. men's men's center. And and so that's a funny thing about you know when I lived in Italy, everybody would meet in the center during certain times of the day, like happy hour we'd call it, and that's essentially it's casino. It's a casino, España. Okay. Woo! That's what happened. That fell over. The wind. So, yeah, so like when I lived in Italy, the men, the old men would meet in the center, they'd have their places and the women would meet apart, like sometimes the women would meet in another area. And this is like just the natural way of support, like the men have each other and the women have each other, but then the men and the women come together when they're, they're supposed to and how they're supposed to. Like we all have to have our separate time apart but it's the energy weaving in and out and also recognizing as women we need each other in ways that men can't serve and men need each other in ways that women can't serve um, and acknowledging that and not trying to get it all in one place and you got your she relationships you got your uh, romances and she relationships and she relationships that's cute <laughs> i like that that's that's clever but that's a true story. Like, you know, the, 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 the energies, the masculine, the feminine, the sexes, you know, all of this. You can't expect every, every person to satisfy all your needs. And when you acknowledge that, then you take a lo load off your own self and others. Because a lot of times people go into a relationship and they put a huge load of expectation on them to satisfy all these unspoken, uncommunicated needs that aren't going to get fulfilled and then what happens relationships die because of the lack of communication the failure to communicate the inability to express and get your message across and if you haven't agreed upon it see that's how relationships should always start is how are we coming together for what purpose to what what path what theme um what are your needs? What are my needs? Can I fulfill them? Am I willing to fulfill them? If they're not, then move on. Figure it out in the beginning. Don't waste all that time. You know, don't go through your honeymoon stage and just, oh, it's all la 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 la. It's gonna figure itself out. Because most people, they're diving in for the physical. They're going in for the intimate, but that's not the real intimate. That's the false sense of attraction and addiction. And this, oh, we had chemistry. You know what chemistry is? It's, a, it's an invitation to revisit the past because chemistry means it's familiar, meaning you've been there, done that. Are you ready for the lesson again? Because if you didn't learn it the first time, you're going to repeat it in the next one. Just saying. But if you are aware, you can also recognize and acknowledge a, a healthy, familiar chemistry that isn't as toxic as the past. But it's, again, it's balance, and we're all weaving and dancing and finding our way. And how are you doing on this day? We're just weaving between the streets. <gasps> Ooh, speaking of doors. <sighs> how cool is that? Right. Okay, don't anybody get around me. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Thank God I can hit the camera button while I'm videoing all this. 
Like, that's gorgeous. The history. I always like to think about all the beautiful, you see the, all the different weavings, the textures, the tiles, you know, making do, the morphing, the transforming, the alchemizing the, that, that happens through the generations, through history, the epics. <laughs> oh, love it, love it, love it. The art. How People each. Here. What's that? People still sell a lot. Oh, more tiles. Look at this. Let that be your home, right? Look at this beautiful, beautiful entry. It's inviting, isn't it? Even that old light. Yeah, this is just a, it has a very cozy feel to it. This town is very nice. Say the name of the town again. Ayamonte. Ayamonte. Oh, beautiful. I'm starting to feel some heat. So. A-Y-A-M-O-N-P-E. Wow, look at that. That feels caged. Yeah. A little caged. Oh, and here's another door. Mm-hmm. Trying to keep the bugs out. How about that? Oh. But look at this blue, this aqua, this turquoise is gorgeous. I love when they choose the colors too. It's yeah. like a accent because they trace out the doors, the windows, the edges. Ooh, and I love those copper wheels. Probably spray painted, but they're still, it's the effect. Ah, sun is coming out. We're finding ourselves out and about. Yes, my out has a Canadian twang. Oh, we had a festival or having one. The white stringing above our head. It looks like tissue flowers. Love, love, love this. All the details. Look at the tile in there. The, turf, the flowers, and the leaves. Another door. See, I love the door knockers with the hand. That's what that's what I always took pictures of when I was in Portugal with my dad. Just this amazing architecture. Where are we going? We're going. She's checking out all the. Are we looking for cookies? Are we looking for cookies? Oh, this is the tobacco and cheese and, ooh, olive oils. This is kind of fun. I like it. Like if you're into the, the meats in the back. The hanging ham. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. Love, love, love it. I need to find those big ham bones when you right? have to carry them. <laughs> the other day we went into uh, Apollonia and, and Dom was all excited. Let's let's guess the price of the ham. One of them was almost a thousand euro. I said, yeah, well, that's normal. It's not right, but it's all about the brand, the mark, and I think that they're just like a Whole Foods, personally. I wouldn't want to spend money in that place, to be totally honest with you, unless you absolutely found something you couldn't find anywhere else. That's the only reason I would shop there. Oh, look at this. Cafeteria, museum. Oh, this is an old place, too. Ooh, they have ice cream. They have gelato. And they have this. Oh, that looks decadent. Wherever we eat, it's on me. No worries. It's all dessert. It just looks like an old school, which is cool. I love places like, oh, the frappe latte. These are yummy when they do the, the they call them, um, oh my gosh, I forgot what they call them in Italy. Oh no, their coffee is super strong. I'm with you on that. <gasps> Look at that. Did we come down? Yeah, we came down this way already. We, we walked toward, which way did we? We came from the other street, from the right. right, I believe, because that pink building got my attention. All right. He's real good in this guy. Oh, I bet. He's like that dog that's off the leash. Buddy was, was awesome. Busted. I could have taken Buddy anywhere. Angel, she was pretty much conditioned to travel. She was, she was the dog that when we went to restaurants, nobody even knew she was there because she was so well behaved. Okay, we're going out of the center. Yeah, we're going to have to turn around over here somewhere. Oh, there's more of that uh, weird form of insulation. insulation. It looks like styrofoam. It looks like the styrofoam they use in the States, and that stuff's not so great. Around. It's a spray foam. Is what 
There's a little courtyard thing in there. I want to see if that... We might find a little special dig over there. Follow the green. Yeah, there's like a, a little parky area over here. I thought that was sweet. Um, yeah, Angel, she, she, we'd get up to go, and then there'd be those little yelpy dogs that would just jump out from underneath the tables. Oh, yeah, we can't go through Yeah, we can't go through there. I was hoping we could maybe cut through here. But we're going to turn around and go back. Oh, it looks like this is actually a bar or some nature. Okay, Vino's right here, but they're not open right now. So this Vino's place has a setup across the street, and that's what that is. That's really cool. But yeah, the little Yelpy dogs would jump out from underneath the tables, and everybody would look at me with Angel and be like, we didn't even know that she was there. <laughs> and the, the Yelpy dogs were more, more vocal than Angel was. She was like, dude, I got the good life. I don't have any reason to act out. <laughs> and she did. Look at the guitars in the, in the windows up there. Isn't that cool? We're still looking. We're looking for a tapas bar, actually. Because tapas is traditional and gives you kind of a mix of all the different types of foods. Oh, look at the tiles in here, the floor. Oh, this is inviting and cool. You know what? It's all about the invitation. You feel invited. The ceiling. Ooh, this is so pretty. I love those. I love the blue tiles. They're just so gorgeous. And that's a pharmacy. How pretty is that? Yeah. They have tapas here. So the tapas. Yeah, that was on the, the mark too. So, so we have a tapas place. We found a tapas bar. The one that I had put on. This is Tasca La Peña. I love that. So here's our menus. Yummy. Yeah, this be fun. We need to use the restroom. <laughs> okay. Pretty, pretty. Sounds fishy. Yeah. We're talking about we we opted for Las Taparia, La Taparia, because it's also right next to the pretty blue tile. And we're just talking about slowing down and, and the gentleman's so patient and listening to everything that we're requesting because we're trying to be specific. Fortunately, also my Italian helps too whenever I go places, but it's the slowing down. It forces you to slow down. To be patient with yourself is to be patient with another. And you can't have patience with another if you don't have patience with yourself. Everything starts with them and then it trickles out. So when you're with people and they're impatient with you, recognize that's because of the impatience they have within themselves for themselves. And a lot of times it's frustration with the inability to communicate effectively a person's needs. And I get that. And I see that. And a lot of adults did not have that cultivated and nurtured in their childhood in how to effectively communicate getting their needs met, which is what coping mechanisms and survival skills come from. It's the needs getting met in a way that worked when they were young, but they never actually revisit to whether or not it's effective and if it's still serving them as an adult. So we're just waiting on our food. We've, we've ordered a uh, standard Spanish omelet has potatoes in it. I love the frittata. The way they make it here is just so sweet and yummy and just everything's gonna be flavorful. I'm excited because they have aubergines, the eggplant. I love eggs, eggplant. No meat, no ham. We don't like ham. I am doing some tuna in a small little salad and trying their tuna with onion because he said it was different than the salad. Might be a lot of food, I don't know, but we'll find out. I'm just grateful to try something new and to have a new friend. Yes, Julia is awesome. I love this woman, she's amazing. Commenting about how beautiful these water bottles are. She's, I love glass. I don't like things yeah, in plastic, so these are, I, I got water with gas. Is that water with gas? No, Should it? Be. I think it is. So if you don't want gas, you might want to tell them. I love these tiles, they're beautiful, it's so pretty. And this is our La Taparia and our waiter is so sweet. Good. This is the tuna salad that's cold. There's a lot of tuna. I didn't, you know, I, that's a small. Anything that I don't eat, I can always get to go. We kept the menus because we weren't sure, but I think we're gonna have plenty. I just think oh, it's I so think pretty. I think we're gonna have way more, yeah. Probably, I agree with you. <laughs> Oh, look at this. This is funny. This looks like 
It's uh, bread, adult sweets, and art. He's trying to get by me, so I just thought I'd show you this because it's so pretty. Oh, they're are they opening, opening the, the sun is out, so they have to close it up. So that's why we had lunch. It was okay. I won't necessarily recommend it in the future. Do you want to get an idea for housing over here? They're significantly cheaper than where we are in the Algarves. They're all under five, around less than 500. I'm following, I'm right behind you, dear. We were gonna to try to find a tabacaria place to get some things, but El Buen Gusto, lovely. Beach. Bee shop, oh, I love that, that's pretty. That wood, the design, like I said, these are beautiful places. People don't look up enough, that's my personal opinion. I am that person that looks up at the sky. First time I ever went into, see, look at that entry. First time I ever went into Grand Central Station in New York City, I looked up and I was like, wow, does anybody ever notice the constellations on the ceiling? So if you ever go into Grand Central in New York City, look up and tell me if you notice what I'm talking about. Oh, well, here we go, another beautiful door. That is gorgeous. Wow. I'm a little bit nervous. And the joke is with the Europeans, are you hungry or are you angry? Because the words sound so similar. That is gorgeous. I know, I probably passed it already. You might have seen it already. This is, looks like, I came from, we didn't go down the street, but this looks like an old place for coffee. You know, like every city has their old fashioned traditional place. Hmm. We're finding our way back to the car. Mm, water. Hello. Yep, it's always an adventure. I like her. She's just like me. She's like, I think it's this way. <laughs> it's okay if we get lost. There's the guitars up in the windows. Cool doors. People eating. It's that time of day. Lunchtime. I like, I like that they have this nice cover to protect you from the sun. It is getting steamy. Oh, this is cool. Bar Guerrero. Look at the tiles. Oh, pardon. Sorry. Oh, look at the tiles. Ice cream? You want ice cream? I'll, I, I'll buy. If you see something you like, it's on me. I think we could end up with an ice cream just to, to cleanse the palate, as I say. actually have a nice list here that tells you what what is without gluten which is nice and this is without the the nuts the cascada yeah so without soup soya see you gotta you gotta know what you have an allergy to and you can adjust and adapt so she's gonna get a comb i'm gonna try to figure out what i can have and it's simple and easy i'm doing cappuccino chocolate fondant basically dark chocolate and pistachio because that's my favorite overall so she's getting a cup together for me three scoops love it. i love it i can get by with my italian always this is a bigger cup for six euro she got the cone and i've got pistachio she gave me a little extra extra i can't do this both with the cone with the cup the phone in my hand so let me show you around. i had to stop because that one building was standing up Lots of tourists out on Monday. This is actually off season, by the way. So this is where I believe I believe that guy was standing in front of the mime. I just think that's so cute. It's like a bank. It's like a bank to me. All that beautiful tile. Yep, we're gonna go find the car now and head back to Portugal. So, happy trails. Good people. So we are leaving the city. Waterfront. It is obviously like I'm going to guess it's a fishing village.
do that. Of course, as a woman, I, I'm always cautious no matter what, but... Actually, twenty cents cheaper than it reads. Oh, really? Here in Spain, yeah, that's one of their incentives. Oh. Yeah, I gotta put it in my GPS. Okay, so we're gonna stop so she can set up the navigation route home. All I need to do is get to the twenty-two. Good. How pretty cool is that? <laughs> what is that? A, like an amusement park or something? Inviting you in fancy gas station. Listed out there. So that says 169. A liter. A liter is, let's see, four liters equal a gallon, yeah, roughly. Yeah. It's a little bit over, but yeah. Life is an adventure. We've been driving around in circles now for a good amount of time. It's kind of comical. I'm dripping ice cream on myself trying to navigate and, and figure it out. Turns out one of the roads was blocked off, and the way we should have gone was inviting us all along. <laughs> That's the sign we wanted to see toward the autostrada, toward the highway. Portugal. Portugal. There we go. Now we're on the road again. On the road again. I look how close we were. I know, right? How crazy is that? Yeah. So when you go with your own sometimes. And, and because it's Mercury retrograde, it's in renegade shenanigans. And meanwhile, we were over here with the GPS telling us to go the opposite direction and then circles. Turn right on a street that went nowhere. <laughs> And turn right on a street that was the opposite direction of going. Or one that didn't exist. Out here, you can sometimes see his teepees from the road. Is that a teepee guy? It's a teepee guy up in here somewhere. There's a lot of. It has well, it has the Moorish, the, the Arabic influence, and somebody else kept saying it's got a Slavic sound to it. And I said, Slavic? 
No, it's more like think about the Arabs. You know, that's the Arabic has that that sound to it. Because the Moors had run the lands, ruled the lands, and there's a lot of land. Not enough people on those lands. The land is right still and you know there are places that have still been untouched by man you just gotta find them there's an ikea i think this is the, this is fado this is where i'll be coming back for the airport this evening early in the morning like three in the morning i have to leave because my flight's at 6 a.m so this is just a sneak peek of the daylight hours oh yeah the castle over there designer outlet in the Algarve. So, you know, just like anywhere, they have their fancy, you know, outlet centers. They have them all over the world. You know, when I lived in Naples, Italy, they had an outlet center outside of the city of Naples. I think the castle's more interesting in my personal opinion. Who wants to go shopping? I mean, consumerism is definitely the last thing we need to be buying more China-made, poor quality junk. We need more real world experience. Ah, oh, look. Nice Porsche. <laughs> oh, a little graffiti art. Make your life your artwork. Your legacy. Art from your heart. This was a perfect road trip day. It was fun. We're not done yet. <laughs> it looks like we're about to come into some rain right now. Oh, that's a hand crank window. Is that why that door? Ah. Yeah, I, I, it was like that in some other cars that I noticed when I was living over here. It's actually a safety feature in my opinion. And I believe it is. So we're going in the, dis, dif, the direction of Portimao. That I can pronounce. Villa Mora. Lule. Sounds French sometimes. There's ruins everywhere. Yeah, ruins everywhere. Just wait for that rain to fall. Like we could use the temperature is actually nice and cool too with the windows open. It's funny how you can get go from hot to cold to hot to cold. It's really that transitional season time. All that beautiful countryside. What is that, Port of Mao or something maybe? We're almost there. Covero. Covero. Uh, no, Port of Mao, Monchique. This is where we're getting off. We're getting close. Passing the van. Woo! supposed to rain a little, I think, if I saw the forecast correctly. Oh, I love that green. Those trees are beautiful. Ah, the, the air here is so fresh. Yeah, it's funny. The sky like cleared up when we got here. Yeah. Silvis, Mon Chic. I want to say it like French. <laughs> behind a taxi that's driving super slow. slow. Yeah, <laughs> Pretty place. I think, is this the area where he said he speeds up because it stinks over here sometimes? He said something about the smell with the... Our place smells sometimes. Sewage. Sewage right, the wa he said it was because of the sewage plant or the... What do you no, call it? On this property, where this sewage is, Pretty. Beautiful countryside. Look for the stork nest. Yeah, the stork nest. So there's one. And there's a whole field right next to the gas station. This is incredible. If you hadn't seen it in my previous videos. It's orange orchard that the storks took over. So. Right? Orange orchard. 
the storks took over. Like, that's some crazy stuff. Those are all stork nests in the trees. Like, the trees are no longer trees. They're stork nests. <laughs> I've never in my life seen so many storks. And that's just incredible. Right on top of the power lines. I mean, my thing is that they must be... There's a vortex here. And they are also uh, kind of like buoying the energy. Because I feel like wings birds flight they just they elevate they raise that's the way i interpret it monchique resort and spa coming up on your right did you know i wouldn't have known that it's harsh both sides do, 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 do. there's some windy roads <laughs> there it is monchique Resort and spa. I was wondering what that was, and I got the answer to the question. We're going to a spring to fill up water. So it's up here on the left, coming up. Hmm. Coming around the roundabout. This is fun. It's an adventure for some spring water. <laughs> oh, we do? Or just some? We did. Uh, that's, okay. that's cool. I got an empty bottle. I got a couple bottles you can fill. I need to get rid of some of my water. There's no place to pee there. I guess I can go to the bush. <laughs> nature. It's all nature. Find your way. Nature saves the day. Always. Here we go. It's the thermal waters of spring. We're looking for the spring. Caldas. The Caldas de Monchique. Fountain. So this is spring. Good. Ah, this is what we do. And it's like nice in New York. My sister goes and gets the spring water as well. You know, find a spring.com if you're ever looking for fresh water. And you really do want the water from the earth. Preferably in a place that hasn't been poisoned. This is so gorgeous over here. Wow, this little valley. Oh my gosh. This place is awesome. Uh, really nice. <laughs> and it's, uh, is it up there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you gotta go up those little stairs. Oh, how cool. Looky, looky, this is so pretty over here. This is Mon Chic. I have to throw trash away. Uh, what's, where do I put this trash? Just throw it in a bin? Okay. Yeah. Absolutely pretty. Absolutely beautiful. following Julia up the stairs to I fill some water. Phone, but look, all the icons are gone. <laughs> Maybe I need to get back on the internet. So oh. Back up. Yeah, my phone's about to, it's about down to the 20% or 10%, something like that. This is so cool. Yeah, this place is awesome. The smell is so earthy. Mmm, it smells amazing over here. You can tell somewhere off in the distance somebody was burning. You can smell the brush. Oh my goodness. Well, it's, it does give back the carbon to the earth, so it doesn't yeah, hurt anything. Right yeah, especially if you don't have the... the fire brigade out and see your smoke. Is that... Um, you can see the old megalithic structures, what's left of them here. Yeah, right. All these big structures. So is that um, agave? That's what we're walking up. I should have worn different shoes. I'm wearing my sandals at the moment. Those ants are busy. <laughs> this is really cool. Definitely don't want to come up here when it's been washed over, I'm sure, with all the rain coming down this. Oh, looky, looky. They're doing some construction over there. This is definitely a wellness resort area for sure, I can tell. Anytime there's thermal spas and, oh, wow, this is pretty. You will typically find hotels and... Fancy schmancy sa saunas and spas and 
everywhere I've been, like in Germany, the Netherlands, even Italy and France and all over. That's so cool. It's all landscaped and terraced. Some of it, you know. Yeah, I smell the eucalyptus. Mmm. Wow. Oh my gosh. Talk about a megalithic yep. tree. Whoa, that's this an old, old. Boy, if you could smell this, mm -hmm. that thing is massive. Like, I mean, my eyes are bulging out of my head. That is so big. Yeah, yeah. there's some other. I don't know how big that here, bark yeah. is. That, that trunk, mm -hmm. that's a massive eucalyptus. Wow, big daddy yucca. They're so skinny usually. Like, you know. Yeah, right, so you know that's an old old beastie. He's seen some. Mm, the smell is amazing. So good for your sinuses. And if you got allergies, eucalyptus is like a huge healer. Like this thing's huge. I bet you it's seen some serious history. I wonder how old that is, because when you see the typical eucalyptus, they are not fat and happy like that. They are definitely skinny. Skinny minis, sort of. Hmm. That's a cork tree. You can tell just by the way the bark is. You see this? See how spongy that is? That's cork. See that moving? How neat is that? It's kind of quirky. <laughs> I know, I'm goofy. I'm silly like that. Wow. Spongy, quirky. And you got the moss growing on it too. Living in symbiotic relationship. Oh, my figgies. And the flowers, the viney flowers, the purples. I don't see any figs on that tree. Even if there were, I'm sure somebody would have picked them off instead. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Like, you can't beat this beautiful landscaping. Imagine this being your backyard. This is a hidden paradise to me. This is really beautiful. Like, wow, this is like a huge park area. It's not just, let's go get some water. This is a, let's take an adventure through the forest. It's so cool. This is beautiful. I could get lost in here. Look, th look at those trees. Mm -hmm. And those are all eucalyptus too. Mm -hmm. And that cork back there is all so neat. That looks like a sycamore. Am I right? Wrong? Oak. That's an oak. I always think the sycamore is the one that sheds its bark so much. And that's a different type of shedding. So yeah. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Wow, what an oasis. The water dripping. This is all natural. Well, of course, it's had some human intervention, but boy, I wonder when that, that must have happened recently. That tree breaking, falling down. Well, I mean, with that hurricane, that supposedly all the winds and everything, because the winds here can be pretty darn powerful. Like, look at Julia and look at the base of this. Now that big mono, that big me megalithic eucalyptus that you saw in the beginning is bigger than this. Probably double that easily. Wow, this is so beautiful. So amazing. And I'm zoomed out, like, seriously. That is amazing. I just can't get over it. Can you count how many times I've said amazing, incredible, phenomenal, like seriously, seriously? <laughs> like that. I can't, I can't get over it. It's just, it's like, what would you do? What would you do if you saw this in person? Oh yeah, and the smell just is incredible. Again, I, I could never get sick of the smell of eucalyptus, because it is, 
Yeah, that's a really cool place to explore for sure. Eucalyptus, wow. So this is where we're getting our water. Yeah, that's where we get our drinking water. What's that say? Ponte dos Mores? Point of... That's the name of the fountain. Ponte dos fountain. Amores. Of the two loves? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fountain of love. Fountain of love. See, they got a little, little picture. People get creative. Again, there's that amazing... D the tree the, there's three of them so like my life is all about threes me and my sisters we always my sister had to cut down the weeping willows she had three weeping willows and she called them the three sisters which was kind of like a name we were coming up with for our ideas for yeah my sister's amazing she's very talented especially with uh what you call uh you she's she's the elderberry queen so we're gonna fill this fresh water spring water oh my gosh it's nice and refreshing it's the exact same water that this bottle was when i bought it oh it's slipping on my hands here Whee! and we're full that's a wrap so again, the perspective of these trees is just ginormous. Incredible. Nature and the history and what it is seeing and has seen and, you know, it will remain recycled, symbiotic, even with us humans. We are so deeply connected. You can't say you could go without nature or that nature doesn't reflect back to us our own nature. And the water continues to move. Oh, this is so sweet. <laughs> Finding my way back. Oh, oh. I didn't exactly wear the best shoes for this, but hey, we've been all over the place today. So, it's all perfect. That's the oak. Actually, that does look like, that, this one does look like a uh, sycamore has those balls on it. Yeah, this is a sycamore. The reason I know is because it's got those balls on it. And those are a pain because the seeds, they break, if you don't pick them up before they break and they dry, <sighs> sprouts. They're sprouted babies. <laughs> The Algarves for agave, right? <laughs> Do you know what the name of these flowers are? Those vines, I don't know. I, we have them all over the place. I just wasn't sure. I love the color. Yeah, the colors and the way that they change. Like, look at the detail of this. It's like b deep blue on the outside, and then it, it gradiates out to this purple. And like they're all mixed in with each other. Yeah, no doubt. It's a good place to bring the right shoes back and come back here and do that. Is that elderberry? No, elderberry, I mean, I don't know because every place is different and everybody has, every country has their own variety of different plants. I know they grow in a bunch and they're a little deeper like a reddish purple. My sister's, mmm, there's an old piney. Yeah, that's a healthy, happy fig tree. Again, the cork tree. It's a little corky. <laughs> yeah. This tree getting wow. wow, yeah, that tree, I'd be I don't know how much longer it's got before it decides whether it topples over or just lets the vine take over. What's that one? So many varieties in one spot. So much to learn. 
so much to learn. If we could just tap into ourselves first, we'd learn more about everything around us, that's for sure. Exactly, yeah. Wow. Incredible, incredible. Olive oil. I'm like, I bet it's gonna break in my purse. <gasps> no. Oh, the bottle. Oh, that container thing. Yeah. There's something about plastic that, um, when certain things are in plastic, like, it changes the composition and the chemical makeup of whatever is in it. It's containing. Like lemon. They say don't keep lemon in plastic bags. Imagine that. Oh, we got some stuff going up on up in these hills too. So beautiful. Like really can't do it justice with the video, but I hope you're appreciating it as much as what I'm showing and seeing. <sighs> Making the best of my last day because I fly shortly, not that long. We're not yet under the 12 hour mark, but I guess I could check on, check in online. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to Julia. Like, definitely check out her YouTube channel. I'll put her information in the comments as well. No railing in the States, there would be railing here. I know, right? Like, that's, what a great appreciation, right? right. Like personal responsibility and accountability. If you hurt yourself, it's because you weren't paying attention. Those trees, oh my gosh, the, the way that the light hits them, they almost have a fluorescence to them, don't they? That's, that's eucalyptus. Yeah, eucalyptus is great like that. Mm-hmm. Goes up in flames. Unlike the cork. Unlike the cork. <sighs> <laughs> Happy birds. I love the sound of the birds. And the Bougainvillea. So pretty. We did. Does That's got to go down and come around. Yeah, might as well. We're already going that way. I think purposefully because it could have been a dangerous downhill. Hard to say. See, now that's cork. That's cork. And you see it's singed but it's only singed. So this is what happens when cork is burned. Yeah, that's what they were that's what uh, Dominic was telling me. Yeah. So the cork just gets singed and and it, it doesn't actually burn. So if your house, your roof is made of cork, that's like the best thing you could have is a cork roof. So these are beautiful things to know for when I get ready to come over here and have my own place. I want a cork roof, cork insulation. <laughs> Even like we were talking about earlier, hempcrete is also non-combustible, fire retardant and fireproof. Ah, more stairs. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. I wonder what that is. Well, clearly water comes down here at some point. What is it? Ah, maybe some sort of a touristy sauna, something or other. Oh, look at these little sprouties. Or is that metal? That is, those are sprouting some sort of a flower. I don't know what, but it looks cool. Well, that house appears to have, because I'm nosy like that, I'm kind of walking funny on these cobblestones. How cool is that if it's all connected? Like, that's really pretty. This would be a really neat place to have a place, actually. Up in the mountains, but definitely a sweet space. Does it ever snow over here? Does it snow here? Hmm, there you go doesn't even freeze. So this is a good climate. So if you're somebody who doesn't like the cold, it doesn't even get freezing. Look at those pretty flowers. 
all those pretty flowers. And I'm pretty sure those flowers smell nice. I think I smelled these the other day and they had a pretty smell to them. Oh, they're so beautiful. Stop and smell the flowers. Hotel suites and apartments. Legado. Legado. I'm little kitty looking out the window. Hee <laughs> hee. It's like, I see you. I'm a happy cat. I want to be out there. <laughs> okay. Old walls, old structures. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Hesitant drivers just staring at me, acting all silly because they don't know what they're doing. I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> Sometimes people are curious what you're doing. And you know what? Mind your own business, people. It's, it's good to be curious. To be mindful of whether or not you're being nosy and sticking your nose in people's stuff. So. <laughs> Finding our way out and back. finds you just got to know where to go but you need a car so if you're out in this area you really need transportation unless you want to be somebody who's always hitchhiking everywhere I don't see that happening you stay in the cities, yeah. yeah you gotta find your happy medium what works for you some tile places and here's the tile place that I was yeah really cool this kind of reminds me of like um, outside of Naples there's right along the Malfi coast you've got uh, uh, what do you call it source of pea Positano and Amalfi and there's also it's a little small towns like Sorrento and Vico Iconice Nese regional tiles and designs. The rooster, a symbol of protection and also signals when there is a threat because that's what they use the roosters for when someone is coming into the area that doesn't belong. They're kind of like a guard dog. Hmm. Oh, there's a park over there. So I had read a lot about the area of Naples and it was like really cool to read that kind of story about they drove they they traveled to find out and then they found out that Vesuvio the earthquake was happening and then it erupted yeah that was years ago I don't remember the names of the books Julia 
Julia and I are going to go take a walk around the mountaintop and I have my sneakers on. So come check it out. Let's go catch the storks at happy hour. With the storks? Mm-hmm. Everybody well. me is like, oh, I can go to bed early today. It's crowded. <laughs> right? They come in earlier because there's no I real sun. Until the sun goes down. Yeah. yeah. And definitely an overcast day, for sure. Hmm. The dogs are all happy about taking this walk with us. <laughs> These dogs, but you know, talking really about the dogs. Astray. Cosmo is so beautiful. Hey, Murray. Hello. Look at you go. What are you doing? Maybe a lizard. You got a lizard? Maybe baby, baby, lizard. baby lizard. Aww. And He's a cutie. Oh, that's precious. That's there, your was a, there was a fully grown one that was about four or five inches long when it was clean up. Look at the cymatic patterns yeah. on there. It's amazing. He's so adorable. You Look at you. Great, you got a great you got like a crocodile pattern going on over there. Maybe. Good thing you're so small or <laughs> some human would use you to make shoes or something. Yeah, right. I'm going to put them in the to make some Barbie thongs. <laughs> What you got over there? Someone's digging. Any wild boars today? I haven't seen any or heard any. Even the cat's the coming. Dog's barking, so that's obviously. <laughs> Look, at them, Look at the cat. Look at the cat over there. But yeah, these dogs let you know there's something going on. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, these cats they are funny. They mostly like to sleep outside. What Check out this. Story? They mostly like sleeping outside unless it's really you know, entertained by the cat. Look at you. It's like the cat doesn't. Cat's coming with us. Cat came back the very next day. Look at this. He's gonna sneak up on, on Estrella. Sometimes uh, Rosie goes on the whole walk with you. I was gonna say, look, look like she was coming after us. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to check things out. Sometimes overcast days are the best days for walks, anyway. And this is a quince. Is that some kind of apple or, yeah, quince. The quince, and it's it. They make it for you know different jams and chutneys and things like that. Yeah. You have Sometimes to cook the it. Gypsies put their horses out there and feed them. Yeah, like the ones that passed us when we were coming back. I didn't get that on camera, but horse and wagon, super cool. That's how the gypsies move, and they just tie them up once in a while and graze. Yeah. Dominic said he brings them water sometimes and all that. Look at the guard doggies. <laughs> Mischievous, but also on guard. Little thieves. Oh, Even she's coming. They're all getting into it. This is fun. <laughs> Faithful pups. Come on, you two. Hey, 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 hey. You see what they're doing is trying to assert their alpha status. Even even the boy on girl. Hey, you two. Stop it, you two. <laughs> okay. Come on, you all. <laughs> Come on, why are you picking on Estrella? Leave her alone. Biggie, everybody Biggie's always trying to overpower the mat, the females over here. Biggie always, try, yeah, he, uh, they always all gang up on Tiger. You got two girls, boy, two boys. <laughs> Newt. You were too funny. Look at you all. Yeah, that's kind of. This is about where I th I believe the boar came across us, going up there. Wow, it went up that thing. It wasn't. If it wasn't this, it was the first one. Yeah, it literally it dove up the drive, like from coming up the hill, up and over. It wasn't going down. Like this. Well, it jumped. It didn't run. It jumped right over. It was incredible. If it wasn't that one, it was this one. I just know the rocks were there. It wasn't flat. Could have walked around, by the way. She's really cool because she's just real well-versed in ancient wisdom and astrology. Yeah, I have quite a few people that I follow, and I take every little nugget and it just nine times out of ten what i hear in astrology is an, an, an intuitive for me it's a confirmation of what i intuitively have already picked up on and i mean ever since i was a little girl i've had dreams i've 
I've sensed things. I, I can't say I always see things. For me, it's more of sense and less, the, the sensation, the feeling. But my dreams are always been vis vivid. And I did have a That's cool. imaginary friend, a couple of them actually. And I do have angels. This is my tree I always talk Love to. This. Oh, an this ear. cork it is so cool. An <gasps> and I've has always talked to it, but and then after a while I noticed it has an ear. But yeah, that's my tree. It hasn't ever been. This had. is a cork. Right, and it's never had its cork taken yet. It's, such it's a, a baby. baby virgin cork. Is it still baby? Yeah. It's so sweet. You're so yeah. sweet. Why don't you go big and strong? <laughs> and you can show all your cork about. Maybe one day I'll have a piece of you. Maybe I'll be a piece of a tree. Yeah, ashes to this, ashes, dust like, to dust. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I know, I'm loving Like, the corks are just incredible. The tree that keeps giving and doesn't get mad for you taking. Right. That's what I'm thinking in terms of cork. Like, put a cork in it. <laughs> That's a compliment. Right? Put a cork in it. Soak that wisdom up. Because we do have, oh wow, something hit this the other night. I, I, this was, up I was up here the other day. I climbed up that. Oh yeah, this has been here. This is, yeah, this has been here a while. Really? Because I can't. Yeah. I walked past here yesterday, two days ago and it wasn't. If you turned, you might have just gone straight. No, I thought I came this way. This has been here. Because I came back around the other way. Yeah, okay. Must have been up or this something. is an old, it's been singed. It, this yeah, is a cork. I climbed up that once. Wow. <laughs> All the way up to that. All that's dried up. There's old cork, too. I mean, they can reconstitute it, can't they? Yeah. I don't know how that all works. Probably See? It, just let it do naturally, but yeah. It's, pretty amazing it's still, even though this cork hasn't been taken, it's still usable. That's the cool thing. Regenerating, regenerating. There's layers and upon layers inside. Yeah, corks are amazing. Yeah. You can definitely tell this vortex here. For the way that the storks convene and have yeah, Dom's house is in the middle of the vortex. No doubt about it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Look at that one. So mm. twisty. I wanna say this might be the one I took a picture of the other day. This or there was another one. It, it looks like two legs. No, this isn't the one. When I see it, I'll know because it, it had it like its legs were upside down. Might be this one then because it must have come straight. Yeah, no. So cool. You can compare later and see if that's the one. Actually, it wasn't. I know where it was now. It's up further at the split. <laughs> Those are partridges. Sometimes the dogs even catch them. And Come on, Stella. Rosie caught a magpie the other day. That's the one right there. Because I took a picture of that the other day. Mm -hmm. That's the cork I put on one of my thumbnails. Did okay. Did you go up or down? Or I, did, um, I did go up. Went up the middle over here. Ended up over the on the other side of the hill where there's... You want, you want, you want to go this way? Yeah, let's go a different way. turn around ultimately. Ah, the smell again. This never gets old. I saw that. You know you that know, they throw. I do it every day, and it never gets old. Something about dogs and when the they. Dogs love it too. You know when mark dogs mark their territory, it's usually when they're scraping, because the they th kick up their pheromones. Yeah. That is more territorial than them taking you. Right. Pee. Cosmo loves to do that. Mm-hmm. He does both. Takes a pee and then he does that. Exactly. It's like, this is my territory. He's a boy. He wants oh. to have some babies though. What's this tree with the berries on it? Cherries? No, this is that strawberry tree, isn't it? Dom says they make uh, an alcohol from it. Oh. I I hadn't seen this form of a cherry, like a berry tree, strawberry tree. In the States, we have a strawberry tree, oh, but so it's cute. it tastes like cotton candy and it doesn't have all this texture. the thing about texture. not being able to see good far away. Yeah. I really notice those little things. Everything's just like... We were just talking... Oh, is that your... That's your juice. We were just talking about how much stuff on the grounds is probably edible and that we as humans typically are so out of touch with nature that we don't realize we have everything we need 
to eat available. Like this is, uh, I know I didn't know what this, I should know the name of this off the top of my head, I don't. But it is an herb. Like you can live off the land, people. If you were to tap back into your own divine intuition, get to know yourself, get to know your body, feel into every sensation because your senses are your input. And that's how you take in data. And that's actually nourishment from the world. But you feed yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually through your eyes, your ears, your nose, your tongue, your hands. All of that matters. Like, if you're not mindful and present and aware, there's more of what you're taking in and how you're taking it in. And you're just going through life, numbed out to reality, blind to which, what is in front of you. That is the problem. Because that is experience. That is life. Life is so rich, so full of amazing unknowns. But so many of us have gotten conditioned into the, the known or the desires. Like, I, it has to meet these conditions. Rather than, let me just go see what happens. Yeah, I could go on and on and on. That's why I'm on the strip. Just curious. Hmm wander lust as they say wander lust what's next what's next what's next for me what's next for you and then there's the eucalyptus so cool estrella is my buddy huh what are you afraid of honey Come on. oh my gosh smells so good during the night and the day and the like the the lighter day part of the day the hours they're so much more pungent right it's like when I arrived at O oh, Dark 30. It was a matter of, oh, I feel like I just arrived at a sauna. <laughs> Pretty. Oh my gosh, breathtaking. I am curious about how the cork is harvested and. Like we were, I was saying, you know, does, do they come in, they pay you for it? I mean, clearly if it's on your land, I'm just talking out loud, but. If you're gone, well, that yeah, especially if he gets money. <laughs> People are funny, just saying. It's too long walks and then they make you commit. But yeah, I like to go up there. I mean, you can just keep going and going. You can walk them on sheep and these seals. Mm. Arch of seals. Just a day to hike. All the way <laughs> a lot of work making all these roads. <laughs> the dogs are pooped. We're gonna go back. All oh, this pretty area around here. Definitely a special vortex. You haven't walked up to the hill on his property. Huh? On which one? Dom's property. Yeah. I went back back there. Yeah, you can walk up there. Mm -hmm. the yeah, way. I went all the way over to that other side, for sure. That well, you can't day. get there through this way. No? No. Oh, there's a wall there, too. Yeah, you can't get over to that. Okay, way. I thought I did. I could have sworn I did. You have to get to it from Dom's property. Oh, you have to go back by the uh, chickens? Yeah, yeah. Right before him, you take a right. I had wondered about doing that. And it goes all the way up to the top, and yeah, it's got a great view up there. It's all flat. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's still early. Yeah. Yeah. I might get curious. Bored. Nah, okay, boy. So check out the it's happy hour for the birdies. Look at these. And they're making their noises. A little click 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 click. Look at you, sweeties. You make some noise for me. They're so cool. All just sitting, listening. Yeah, there's the clicker. Usually the babies do that to communicate. The birds are really lovely to listen to out here. Oh, look at those clouds above. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry to catch that on film. Somebody was having a pooper. 
He's like, wait a minute here. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. <laughs> you got that on film? <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> don't be showing my friends. Dang. Dang. <laughs> don't anybody poop. <laughs> She's got a camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm a nut. <laughs> I talk to the birds. Oh, I love it. Check it out. The sky is so pretty. We've been making clouds disappear and dissolve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the sound of the storks. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous out. It's really peaceful tonight. Just enjoying cool conversation, chilling enjoying my last night with my buddies see them <laughs> hmm we have any watching they communicate through their bodies they don't even have to make a sound Huge birds. Hmm. Lovely. I'm gonna go put a sweater on now because it's a little chilly out. Yeah, a little chilly tonight. Anyway, so we've just been hanging out, just kind of getting colder. And I think I might stay up tonight. I don't know. Still trying to debate that one because I literally have to leave here at three in the morning. <clears throat> so I'll definitely be working on my packing. Uh, I know I've got some things I can wrap up anyway. So off to my next journey venture tomorrow morning. Do you know where I'm headed next? Did I already say it? I don't think I did. I'm going to sign off for now. And you all have a wonderful time. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. I know this one's going to be a long one. So...